Wareham Charter Review Committee May 14, 2009 The following members were in attendance, Ellen Slavin, Chairman, Mary Ann Silva, Clerk, Lee Carmody, Edward Passregs, John Houghton, David Smith, Len Gay, Mick Jones and Board of Selectmen Liaison, Brenda Extraman Finance Committee Liaison Donna Bronk. The meeting was called to order by Alan Slavin, Chairman, at 6.08 p.m. The Chairman asked all if they had copies of the minutes. He asked all to read them over before we motion to accept them. Mick Jones stated that he was not in attendance at that particular meeting. The clerk stated it would be corrected, as well as adding Lauren Goldberg providing us with local charter procedures and different forms of government in Massachusetts. Mick made a motion to accept the minutes, and Jack second. Ed Pasrick stated it should be accepted with amendments. It was so moved and seconded and the vote was unanimous. The members present began to discuss the information that Lauren had left with us. Mick wanted to have it explained. Ellen stated that basically, we have two choices of structure. Ellen explained about the Special Act Charter Amendment which needs a two-thirds majority vote. Ed stated that we could do both by trying to get it through town meeting for the vote. And if that fails, then we could concentrate on the Charter Commission to get the petition of 1500 signatures, etc. He stated that we have one or the other or both. We discussed the elected commission and their powers. It was discussed, if we chose to do both, and one or the other fails, we can go through town meeting, and also go for the charter commission. It was asked, if we could take it to the next town meeting, or do we have to wait for 2010? The body was not sure, if this needed to be done during the first town meeting ending in zero. Alan suggested, that it is something we should ask Lauren. Basically if we will follow 43b, section 10 and 11, you bring it in the year ending in zero with a special act. The body was not sure on that issue either. That was not discussed at all, again it was suggested we should ask Lauren for her advice. Mick asked about the types of governments that Lauren had stated she would provide, and asked if we had received it. The clerk stated she had not, but would be happy to get in touch with Lauren, and remind her to send it. Alan then discussed the charter articles that had been bundled and voted for further study. He stated that we are not obligated to look at them, but out of courtesy we should take the time to review them, no matter what they are. The only article that he stated he was not confident about was Article 51. Allen felt that fell under the Conflict of Appearance Act, the involvement of illuminating family members. It will get to a ridiculous point, because if you have someone in where I'm elected or otherwise, could possibly have a family member serving on a board with possible conflict. He felt that it would open up a Pandora's box. The clerk stated that the only requirement in the charter to run for office is that you are a registered voter in the town of Wareham. Lee Carmody then asked about the appointing authority and who it involves. It was discussed that town moderator, chairman of the finance committee, and chairman of the board of selectmen constitute the appointing authority. She stated that the point being was if there is a relation with any one of the members of the appointment authority and the appropriateness. It was stated that Planning Board, Capital Board, and the Personnel Board are the only boards appointed by this particular committee, and it requires a two-thirds majority 